Texas Governor Greg Abbott gave several GOP governors a tour of the Texas-Mexico border this afternoon, and this comes on the eve of a federal court hearing involving a lawsuit challenging Texas's authority to deploy buoys. KBRC2 investigator Robert Arnold just came back from Eagle Pass, where those buoys are in place, and he joins us live with the arguments on both sides. Robert? Governor Greg Abbott is defending Texas's right to deploy nearly 1,000 feet of buoys near the Camino Real International Bridge in Eagle Pass. He point blank says he does not believe the buoys violate any laws, and that is going to be Texas's prevailing argument heading into tomorrow's court hearing. Governor Greg Abbott hosted governors from Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Oklahoma. All support his efforts along the border, all got a tour, and all blame President Joe Biden's administration for the record number of apprehensions seen along our border. Joe Biden is responsible for that deadly border. The federal government is suing for the removal of these buoys. On Friday, a survey of buoy locations was filed as part of the lawsuit and showed the majority of cement anchors, the black dots, were on the Mexican side of the river. Then over the weekend, government attorneys filed more pictures showing Texas moving the buoys. Out of an abundance of caution, uh, Texas went back uh, and moved the buoys uh, into a location uh, where it is clear that they are on the United States side. The federal government claims Texas set up the buoys without getting Army Corps of Engineer permission first, which is needed since the Rio Grande is a navigable waterway. Abbott shot back, saying the buoys don't create an obstruction, so Texas doesn't need permission. And he challenges the government's claims the river is a navigable waterway as defined in the law. We are fully authorized by the Constitution of the United States of America to do exactly what we are doing. Last year, Abbott invoked both state and U.S. invasion clauses, and constitutional law professor Josh Blackman says the Bowie lawsuit may force Abbott to more fully articulate this position. So I think we'll have to see some brief filed by the Texas governor explaining what is this invasion clause and what does it mean. A lot of the attention right now is being focused on these buoys, but these are a very small portion of the entire operations Governor Greg Abbott has launched along this portion of the Rio Grande. Just downstream from us at one of the international bridges in Eagle Pass is a beehive of activity complete with marine operations and airborne surveillance. Drones fly above the portion of the river that passes Shelby Park in the city's golf course. Concertina wire has been strung for miles along the river and over the top of steel containers. We saw numerous boats from both the Department of Public Safety and Texas game wardens. Florida game wardens were also helping. The park has become a major base of operations for Abbott's Operation Lone Star, a recent change reflected in the image of a golfer hitting his ball into concertina wire. Abbott says all of this is necessary since Eagle Pass has become the second busiest spot for apprehensions along the entire southwest border. And the hearing over the buoys will take place in federal court in Austin tomorrow morning at 9. Several immigrant rights groups are also suing Texas, claiming these measures are inhumane. And there will be a press conference on that point as well in Austin tomorrow morning. Live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.